Okay, Greg says, hi Bradley, I have a tough SEO question. My website used to have good page one positions. Last year Google gave it a thin content, no value manual penalty. Wow, okay. Google has rejected four reconsideration requests over the past six months. Last week I got a second spam thin content penalty. It's time to change domains, Greg. That's all there is to it. Um, six months ago it did only have five pages. Since then I've added 15 pages, a 1,000 word about us page with original images, three original videos, where I interviewed three different CEOs, etc. Pages are 800 to 2,500 words. It has no affiliate links. All is original content. Yeah, it's it's just your 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 domain is um, it's like the the bastard child. You know, it's it it Google for whatever reason is just does not like your domain. So I would just switch domains. One SEO's advice was not to fight Google. Start a new site and redirect the the this site to a new domain. What direction would you suggest? Yeah, that's what I just said. I would absolutely just um, clone the site, slap it up onto another domain, and then I would uh, go ahead and re redirect. As long as you know you don't have a backlink penalty, then I would redirect the old pages to the new ones. Um, but if you have, but just make sure that you don't, you know, your backlink profile is clean. Because if it's if it's not, then I wouldn't, you know, I would probably set up some sort of like double three hundred one or something like that to where you're not, uh, which we can't really get into on on Hump Day Hangouts, but. Um, you know, I would just make sure your backlink profile is fairly decent before doing a 301 redirect uh, from, you know, page by page. And that's just, you know, because if you've got some, like, for example, if you had one page that had a, a particularly spammy backlink profile uh, built to that specific page, then I wouldn't 301 redirect that directly to the new, new, the new page, if that makes sense. I would end up maybe redirecting it to a buffer site first that had a link to my page so that at least the buffer site would be getting the bulk of the bad you know the the potentially negative SEO juice. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, let's see. Would you 301 site over page to the new domain? Yes, if the backlink profile was decent. Only to re redirect the most important pages. Well, yeah. I mean, for example, if you were to take a look at your all the different pages, like the backlinks by on a page by page basis, if you've got pages that don't have any bank backlinks or have very few or insignificant backlinks, there's no there's really no need to 301 redirect that at all. Because there's no need to push the juice over, because it's such a insignificant amount of juice, it's not necessary. So yeah, you can just redirect the most important pages. Again, just pay attention to the backlink profile, make sure it's clean. Double redirect. I heard of this. Don't even know what it is. Well, uh, you could come talk to us in the mastermind. We'd be happy to talk to you a little bit more about that. Is there a way to completely delete the current site and start a new site with the same existing content on the new site? Yeah, you just you just you would you would just clone the site, put it on a new domain, start a new site using the same existing content on the new site. Yeah, so you just clone the domain, clone the site, install it on a new domain. I mean that then you're essentially you're essentially deleting the old domain, right? Uh, will the negative black market has carry over and contaminate the new site? It shouldn't. It shouldn't. It should be a domain specific penalty. If I redirected it to another site as a subdomain, will it contaminate the other subdomains or in the root domain? Um. Look, if if you're worried about the the old domain, redirect. If you redirect the old domain to the new domain, there's a chance that you could pass the penalty to the new domain. It won't be instant. It'll take some time for it to catch up. That's why I recommend if you're going to do it, that if you're going to redirect, page, you do it on a page by page basis instead of on a domain wide level. Okay, and that you would only select your most important pages, provided that they have a clean backlink profile. Anything that you think is questionable whatsoever. Don't do a 301 redirect to the new site. Put a buffer site in between. I don't care if you use WordPress.com, Blogger, Tumblr, whatever. Put a, a, a some sort of buffer site in the middle and redirect to the buffer site and then have the buffer site pages pointing to the pages on the new site, the new domain. So that way you're cleaning that juice through that, 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 that buffer site. Okay? So the, the, the penalty wouldn't pass to the new domain if you don't have a direct 301 redirect to the new domain, right? If you had a two-step where it's redirecting to a buffer site first and then the buffer site is just pushing juice to the new site, the penalty is not going to pass to the new site. At best or at worst, it would actually just penalize the buffer site, which is why you use like a high domain authority or web 2.0 type site. Okay? Okay. Um, 
and no, if you brand, redirect to a subdomain, and this this is a bit like honestly, this will confuse more people answering this question. So if you're in the master class, we could talk about that in the master class. But that last part, um, trust me, that's going to end up having a lot of people scratching their heads. So 